Today we have seven different flights for ten different couples. Tracy, Hi. welcome to Alaska. Around 4.15 or so, we're going to launch you guys out to Port Allsworth. And uh, it's an hour flight. We have 16 people on board this aircraft, which are part of the OHOP program, which is Operation Heal Our Patriots. These couples will be spending a week out on Port Allsworth, beautiful Lake Clark, surrounded by some of the best scenery you've ever seen in the whole state of Alaska. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. How are you? This is amazing. Samaritan's Purse is doing something incredible. It's just hard to explain in words, but coming out here and see God's country and people that love you and care for you is something special. Oh, she caught one. Eileen caught a... <laughs> she caught one. <laughs> Show it to us, honey. It's alive! <laughs> Operation Heal Our Patriots. Uh, we want this to be a good experience for them. This is our military ministry of Samaritan's Purse. Uh, we have groups uh, every week, uh, 10 couples come up here. We take them not only fishing and bear viewing and kayaking and get to see this beautiful country of Alaska, but they come for really another reason, and that is their marriages. We have Navy chaplains retired, and we have these programs that go every day, marriage resiliency classes. I tell you, these couples, they would rather be doing that than all these other activities. Their, their marriages are in trouble. And why is because of these long deployments, over 10 years of war, and then you have an injury on top of that, uh, the marriages, they need help. I met Eileen playing ping pong, and uh, she beat me in ping pong and then made fun of me. <laughs> and, uh, and I remember telling my brother, I don't like that girl. <laughs> Marriage means supporting each other, family, responsibility, and above else, uh, loving God at first. We want our marriage to grow, and these tools help us go through our difficult times to learn to appreciate each other more. All right, green and slow. Now, you've been out in the military how long? Yeah. I've been out since 2007. So 2007? Yes, sir. And where was your last assignment? It was with the uh, 101st Airborne Division in Iraq from 0506. Did operations in Kirkuk. Now, what was your job? I was a command sergeant major of that battalion. Oh, sergeant major. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I got hit with an IED and uh, killed my driver. So from then on, when I got back, I said, it's time for me to go. Well, your wife said that you carried somebody out. Was he the yes, one sir. you carrying out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and he died in your arms? Yes, sir. I tried to save him. I couldn't save him. Uh, yeah. It's something that, you, you know, as a leader, you don't want to lose somebody. And I think that's the hardest part that I've had is to deal with that. I started noticing my symptoms of PTSD and, and TBI, nightmares, anger issues. Yeah. It's not the person that I used to be. I raised my kids by myself. I was the mom, I was the dad, because he was most of his time on the field 24-7. I got back from Iraq and I got all these plans for my sons and I'm telling my wife, Eileen, well, let's, let's go camping with them. Let's do this, do that. And she says, you know, your son's getting married in a month and your other son has grown already. <laughs> And time was lost. I can't get that back. I'd do it all over again. For my country, for my family. Today I Oz. Today I Oz. Recommit myself to God. Recommit myself to God. To you, Eileen. To you, Eileen. And to our marriage. And to our marriage. I ask your forgiveness. I ask your forgiveness. For the wrongs I have committed. For the wrongs I have committed. 
That injury is not the end of your life. You know, there's hope for you. You can do more. Coming to this and knowing that people appreciate us veterans makes a big difference. It helps the healing process. We've forgotten about all our hurts and everything else being here, being with people that have been through the same thing we've been through. So I know that a lot of the young men and women that are here, they got a long ways to go and they need things like this, you know, and we appreciate it very much. <laughs>